Hey guys, okay, last lesson of chapter five, and it's not a hard one either. Today we're talking about number patterns. So a pattern is just an ordered set of numbers or objects, and each number or object in that pattern is called a term. So the whole thing is called a pattern. Each individual number or object is the term. Okay, so let's practice some of these patterns. So most of the time you're gonna get patterns that give you a rule to follow to find each term. So this rule is to add five to each term and they've given us the first two. We've got five and then five plus 10 or five is 10. To get to the next one, we're gonna have to add five to that term. What is 10 plus five? Very good, it is 15. And then we're going to continue that pattern, that rule, until we get to our last place they want us to have a digit. So then we would do 15 plus five, which is, very good, 20. And then we would do, add five more, 20 plus five is 25. And then we would add five more, and 25 plus five is, 30. Very good. So there's one example of a way we can find a pattern. Another example is sometimes they get it a little bit more um, difficult. Still not super hard, but sometimes they try to throw you off. So this rule has two parts. First, we're going to add three, and then we're going to subtract one. Now, we are not doing that in the same step. We're not going to add three and then subtract one. We're going to do it like this. So we're going to first add three. So six plus three is what? Very good, it is nine. And then we're going to subtract one from this term. Nine minus one is eight. Very good. And then we're gonna start back over. Eight plus three is 11. Very good, and then we're going to subtract the one from this 11. 11 minus one is 10, very good. And so if we were to keep going, the pattern would continue just like that. You would add three, subtract one. Add three, subtract one, all the way until the end, okay? So if they're separated by that comma, they want you to do one, get that term, then do the other and get that term and then start over. So if we were to add three, 13 minus one, 12, add three, 15 minus one, 14, okay? And then sometimes they're going to give you the rule and like this, they're gonna tell you the rule is to multiply by three and your first term is going to be two. So sometimes they don't give it to you in the line already. They tell you what it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that two right there as my first term. And then I'm going to follow my rule, which is multiply by three. So two times three is what? Six, very good. Six times three, now make sure we're not adding three because the rule does say multiply. Six times three is what, fourth grade? Very good, 18. And then we have to multiply again, 18 times three. Now we don't know 18 times three off the top of our head, so that is okay. We know how to go and work that out over to the side. Eight times three is? Very good, 24, four, carry our two. Three times one is three, very good. Plus two is five, great job. So we're gonna put that 54 right here. And then we've still got one more term we have to find. So then we've gotta do 54 times three. Three times four is 12, very good. Five times three is good. 5, 10, 15, plus one is 16. Very good. All right, guys, that is it for today. That is it for the chapter. You do have your chapter five test tomorrow. So please make sure that you're kind of filming back through any videos on lessons that you didn't quite grasp as a little bit of review. 
you're going to do great tomorrow on your test. Take your time. Have a great rest of your day and a great weekend, guys. And I will see you next week when we start chapter six.